Visiting Krakow and looking for inspiration for places to visit? Here are three things you shouldn't miss. Some consider Krakow Poland's unofficial capital, and much of it has UNESCO World Heritage status. Plus, almost a quarter of its 800,000 inhabitants are students, making Krakow a very colorful and vibrant place. There are over 200 cafes in the city, 40 museums and 125 art galleries. Krakow's huge market square dating back to the 13th century is an absolute must-see for any visitor. Spanning 40,000 square meters, it's one of the largest medieval town squares in Europe. Take a stroll and soak up the fantastic atmosphere. And definitely stop by the Renaissance-era Cloth Hall, dating back to the 16th century. You'll find plenty of great souvenirs on the ground floor. Its upper floor houses Poland's National Museum, which showcases masterworks of Polish art from the 19th century. From April to October, you can also visit the Tower of St. Mary's Church to watch Krakow's famous trumpeteer play the so-called Hainel every hour on the hour. The bugle call has an historic origin dating back centuries. I właśnie tak było prawie 800 lat temu, kiedy strażnik widział, że do Krakowa nadciągają Tatarzy, którzy chcą zaatakować Kraków. Dzięki niemu on zagrał melodię, która obudziła mieszkańców i dzięki niemu udało się zamknąć mury miasta i obronić miasto. Wondering what Krakow speciality to sample? Definitely go for filled dumplings known as pierogi. You can find them almost everywhere. We recommend going to Krakow's trendy Kazimierz district, where you'll find plenty of authentic Polish cuisine. It takes about 15 minutes to walk there from the city center. Starka restaurant serves excellent pierogi. Rysia and Helena have been making them for over 10 years. To make the dumplings, dough is rolled out and then carefully wrapped around various different fillings. One serving costs six to seven euro. Pierogi are Poland's national dish. Pierogi na Wigilię to jest tradycyjne i obowiązkowe danie. I to są pierogi z kapustą i z grzybami. Grzyby muszą być to najczęściej borowiki, suszone grzyby. Długo się je moczy, później się je obgotowuje, smaży się cebulkę. Sightseeing done, belly filled, now what? Go see Oskar Schindler's enamel factory, another must-see. The museum is always busy, so book your tickets in advance. Entrepreneur Oskar Schindler saved about 1,200 Jews from the Nazi death camps by employing them here at his factory. The story is told in Steven Spielberg's film Schindler's List. The exhibition paints a detailed picture of Krakow during the Nazi occupation and shows that, although Oskar Schindler saved many lives, he remains an ambivalent figure. First of all, he was a, a member of, of the na na Nazi party. Then, when he came to Krakow, he was uh, uh, running uh, a, a business, taking a Jewish property to get uh, his personal av advantage. But uh, still, he could uh, abandon these people and did all his best uh, to save their lives. Finally, for a panoramic view over Krakow, head to Krakus Hill, about three kilometers south of the city center. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel.